Proteins, proteins, proteins. Truly, they are wonders of the biological world. But how exactly are they made? Let me take you to a journey through protein synthesis. Before we go to protein synthesis, let us first ask ourselves, what is DNA? To explain that, I have here a cookbook. As you can see, this cookbook has all sorts of dishes, and each page corresponds to a specific dish. DNA is like the cookbook of life, but instead of dishes, it contains instructions for making proteins. It is composed of thousands of genes, and each gene corresponds to a specific protein. When you will cook a dish, you don't need the whole book. Instead, you only need the instructions for the specific dish. So we will photocopy that specific page and bring that to the kitchen. Transcription is all about that. We don't need the whole DNA to make a single protein. We only need a specific gene. So we will photocopy that gene and bring that to the kitchen. First, the RNA polymerase binds to the promoter-based sequence of the gene. It separates the two strands of DNA so that free RNA nucleotides can base pair with the DNA nucleotides in the template strand. The RNA polymerase moves through the DNA molecule and joins one RNA nucleotide at a time. Once the RNA polymerase reaches the stop signal, it releases the formed RNA transcript. Spliceosome enters the scene by splicing the entrants out of the chain and keeping the exons. Now the RNA transcript is ready to go. This transcript is known as the messenger RNA. Now that we have the instructions, it's time to make the protein. The mRNA will travel to the cytoplasm. The mRNA sequence is divided into codons, with every codon corresponding to a type of amino acid. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. The small ribosomal subunit binds to the mRNA. But how will amino acids get there? The transfer RNA goes to the rescue. The transfer RNA is like the Filipino jeepney. Jeepneys bring people in and out of cities throughout the Philippines. They are pretty much like tRNAs but instead of people, tRNAs deliver amino acids. The first tRNA binds to the start codon through its anticodon. The anticodon is a sequence of three RNA nucleotides complementary to a codon in the mRNA. It also identifies the type of amino acid the tRNA is carrying. After which, the large ribosomal subunit binds and the translation complex is complete. The next amino acid is brought into the A site by a charged transfer RNA. After binding, a peptide bond forms between the amino acids. The translation complex moves one codon to the right to translate the next codon in the sequence. The now uncharged tRNA leaves the translation complex from the E site and the process continues until the stop codon is reached. When the stop codon is reached, a release factor binds to the A site releasing the formed polypeptide chain. The formed polypeptide chain will pass through the Golgi apparatus complex for modifications. There you have it, a protein which can be an enzyme, an antibody, a structural component, a messenger, and all sorts of stuff. Thank you and have a nice day.